This is the ultra heavyweight final. This is the last but one of the men's black belt finals here today. Only the absolute final remains after this and the women's absolute final as well. So this, the ultra heavyweight division, the highest of the men's weight classes. Gutenberg Pereira of GF team in the blue gi right here. He's gonna be taking on Victor Hugo of Sixth Blades Jiu Jitsu. Great to see Gutenberg Pereira back in action in the United States, coming off a big win at the 2022 IPJF Brasileiros, winning the absolute division there. There is Victor Hugo of Six Blades, the Man Mountain, they call him. You can see why. 6'4, very slim at the moment, about, about 260 pounds. Yeah, I love how for Victor Hugo and such a hulky human being, that's slim at the moment, right? Here we go. Very fun matchup, Hal. I love uh, Gutenberg Pereira versus Victor Hugo. We don't often see this matchup. No, I don't think I've ever seen these two compete against each other. And there is a very quick guard pull from Gutenberg in the blue, the GF team representative. You know, definitely breaking the mold, too, of uh, ultra heavyweight competitors. Both of these athletes are so dynamic in their guards as well. I think for a long time, the ultra heavyweight division didn't have a lot of dynamic guard play, but here we see these two. Gutenberg throwing his left foot on the lapel. One thing I love about the lapel grip is it's, it's such an interesting way to stop forward pressure because the problem is behind you when you're trying to pressure pass like that. And usually putting your foot directly on the chest of your partner is a lot more tiring. It's an interesting new development in jiu-jitsu that a lot of people have been using. Trying to find a way around that lasso hook is Victor Hugo putting his weight forward into it, and that's a lot of weight to drive to an opponent's leg. Oh, my goodness! Fast Out of nowhere, from that lasso, opened it, threw up the straight arm lock, and had Victor Hugo very close, I, I don't know how close exactly, but close enough to face plant onto the mat, concede position, that's usually a sign that the arm lock was very effective. Absolutely, and he comes up for two points right after it. Now he's got two points and an advantage, giving himself a little bit of a safety, uh, safety net if he gets swept back. There's a very quick attack there from, from Gutenberg on bottom, the way that he opened that lasso, and, and Hugo's forward momentum almost fell into the arm lock attack. It was definitely a very well, well timed technique. Goodberg hips. Very forward in this position. You can see the way that his legs are posted on the ground, his, on his toes, driving his hips forward, trying to put not a leg drag per se, more like the unfair 50 50 almost, but trying to get Vicky Hugo's top leg across and is really succeeding actually. Oh my goodness, looking like a possible leg drag, but Victor Hugo bringing his legs back in front. Nice defense there and a great guard recovery from Victor Hugo, managing to survive that forward pressure from Gutenberg. And they disengaged now, fighting from the outside, but... Gutenberg being careful not to approach unless he has a grip that he feels comfortable with. Notice how he brought his knee right in between him and Victor to stop the close guard. I don't think close guard would be a really good spot to be in against a person of the size. 
and, no. uh, and, and mobility of Victor Hugo. No, I think absolutely you're right. That mobile passing that he's employing right now in these kind of positions, and he's getting really good forward pressure here. He's stapled the top leg in a smash pass position. Oh, and you can see there. On the other side. There he goes onto the back as well. Okay, so not doesn't quite manage to uh, catch the position for side control, but very nearly getting the back, and Victor Hugo is desperately... Oh, there it is! Oh! is gonna get top position. Will this be a pass? Victor Hugo's fighting with everything he has to turn away. In dire straits here is Victor Hugo, doing his absolute best to try and not concede position. But this is not a great position to hang out in against somebody like Vic, like Gutenberg Pereira. Victor needs to be very careful to not let either hook go in right now. As we near about the halfway point of this final match, G Gutenberg coming into this final with a head full of steam, meeting every one of Victor's options with seemingly a better option. Two, zero, and three advantages for Gutenberg. Oh, oh, and the hook goes in. The speed of, it, of Gutenberg Pereira is definitely a factor in this match. He was able to accelerate from nowhere, throw that hook in. You see Victor Hugo really trying to keep his right hip heavy so that that second hook doesn't come through. Oh, and Victor Hugo looking. Well, he's recovered guard somewhat, but Gutenberg's powerful underhooks, double underhooks from top. If he could kick his ankle free and settle into top position, he could score here. This is a tough spot to be in. If he's able to pass, then he'll have double underhooks to potentially go into Mount Howell. If Gutenberg Pereira can keep Victor Hugo down and pass the guard, he could theoretically hit a seven point move. Trying to kick that, that trapped foot free. That's what uh, is stopping him from scoring points right now. But he's as good as pinning Victor Hugo. You see him transitioning to an S grip underneath the neck of Victor Hugo as well. This is so much pressure and it's so difficult for Victor to break that connection from underneath. It's just a matter of time before Gutenberg Pereira is able to extract his left leg. I feel like he's biding his time this still. Just under three and a half minutes remaining in this match, and Gutenberg Pereira knows that, Gute, that, that Victor Hugo is able to explode out from bad spots and, and not concede getting picked. And I think that Gutenberg's like, you know what? Stay here a minute, buddy. I'm going to tie you out. Absolutely. I'm going to try and keep you where you are, and I'll score when I'm ready. I think the intelligent move for Gutenberg here is to realize that the longer time goes on, the looser that lock's gonna get because Victor Hugo's gonna realize he needs to move. He has to go for broke, it's the final. Right. Last match of the weekend, last match of Dang the World points. Championship. His next opportunity will be in 2023. So he has to think, how am I gonna get out of this position? And Gutenberg can stay here effectively as long as he wants. He's trying to pass. It is Victor Hugo holding the leg. And it's not a strong grip, it's really, it's just the ankle of, oh, look at this now, you see that Gutenberg has given up his underhooks, and with Victor Hugo managing to turn onto his side, that Gutenberg doesn't have underhooks on either side anymore. He had double underhooks, he's actually given them up. And I think he feels like, you know, maybe I could do better with a, a different grip and try and go straight to the back, or, hard to say, but, yeah, it is an interesting development, but two minutes left in this match. One thing about the finals day is you do have a scoreboard on either side here. Now Victor recovering back to his guard. Coming back up on top. Well, that is two points for Victor Hugo, and that's exactly what we're talking about. The way that he can get out of those really precarious positions, use his size and strength, and turn the tables. Now, it's now two he's points the one apiece. in the position. Oh, oh my goodness! Victor Hugo's gonna score three for the pass. Victor Hugo! Unreal! Was down on points, and in the last 90 seconds, suddenly it's now leading five points to 
two. Oh my goodness, Victor Hugo from the depths of defeat finds himself in mount with a minute left, Howell. Nine points to two, and going high, looking for the finish. He's still got a minute to work. Can he get the submission? How I am speechless. Less than a less than a minute ago, he was going to get his guard passed. What a reversal. You can hear them shouting, get him. <laughs> They're saying, get him. He's got time, he's got 30 seconds. Can he get the finish here? Or will he just ride out this extremely dominant position to the win? So much pressure being driven forward through the face and the skull of Gutenberg Pereira. Crushing his opponent down into the mat. All 265 plus pounds of Victor Hugo keeping his opponent's shoulders flat on the mat. He completes control and he will claim his second IDJJF Black Belt Gold Medal at the World Championships. Victor Hugo. What a comeback, Jake. I gotta say, I honestly think that was the greatest comeback that we saw all week here at the World Championships. Oh, that was completely unbelievable. A mid, at the two minute mark of the match, going to get his guard pass with double underhook. Gutenberg Pereira really, I think he opened the opportunity for Victor's comeback by letting go of the double underhook. Yep. And Victor saw his opportunity, not only took it with the sweep, but immediately.